lovelies, so it's time to do my March favourites, which means we are now into April, which makes me so happy because the weather is now starting to get a lot warmer and just nicer and I just, I cannot wait for spring and summer. I apologise in advance if you hear weird bangs or people talking. I'm pretty sure my neighbours are in their bath right now and their bathroom is right above my bedroom. I've not got a heap to show you but I've still got some stuff I wanted to mention so what shall I start with? I'll start off this purse that I got from Topshop a little while back now and I'm just in love with this purse. I don't buy many purses, I'll probably get a new one every two years or something and for some reason I have recently been loving pinks or like really bright colours hence why I got a bright yellow purse. Not only does it look good but it's really practical as well and I can fit way more in this than I could in my last purse. Got a little front pocket and then it has two zip bits so in one of them I normally put notes I think I don't have any I don't have any notes in my purse right now. And then on the other side I just put change. And then in here is where you can put all your cards. And in my last purse I just had one section of this. So I usually had to put two or three cards in one section which was a little bit inconvenient. But this one I can pretty much fit one card in every single one of these little pockets. So it's just really handy. And then there's also little pockets in these bits underneath the card bits as well. So you can fit so much in this. The next thing is some peppermint tea from Tea Pigs. I don't really like proper tea tea. I don't drink your bog standard like PG tips and milk kind of tea. I know that's really weird and I'm English and everyone loves tea but I don't. But mint tea I generally enjoy drinking and this one from Tea Pigs is the best peppermint tea or any form of mint tea I've ever had. It's so clean and fresh and fragrant and you can smell the tea from across the room. I find a lot of mint teas are just a bit tasteless or they're just a bit murky and just not that great but I really 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 like these. Next thing is this deep sleep comforting milk bath float from the body shop. Have you guys watched my last favourites video you might have remembered that I mentioned the body shop deep sleep spray which I use on my pillows and myself before I go to bed and it helps me go to sleep and have a much better quality of sleep. This is on the same range but it's the bath milk and I wasn't expecting it to be like a bubble bath, I was just expecting it to make the water a little bit creamy but I used it in my bath the other day, I put maybe like that much in and it produces so many bubbles so not only does it just smell good and it gets you like peaceful and all ready for bed but that there's loads of bubbles and who doesn't want a bath full of bubbles. The next couple of things are some glasses that I got from The Little Deer and I've wanted some stuff from The Little Deer for a while and I got these sunglasses. Now one of them I've worn, one of them I haven't. They're the same style but in different colours so this one just has a completely black frame and this one has a white and black frame or I think it was like ivory and brown it said on the website and they're pretty much a normal pair of round sunglasses but they've got this cool cat eye. And I don't have any glasses that have a cat eye frame so I thought these looked really cool and it would be a nice addition to my collection. I actually wore these yesterday because the sun was out and it was so beautiful and I just felt so sassy in them. I just, I love them. I'm probably going to be wearing these lots this summer and they do have UV filters which is important because if you're going to buy cheap glasses at least try and get some that have UV filters because the sun can really damage your eyes and that is not good. So. I don't know I don't know what I want to say but just just get glasses that are going to protect your eyes and I'll link you to both of these in the down bar. Well the next two things are pink themed. So the first thing is this nail polish by Barry M from their Jelly High Shine selection of polishes. It's this really 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 pale pink. For a while I've been really loving white nail polishes and this one at a glance just looks white on your fingernails but up close and personal you can see that it's got a hint of pink in it and I just think it's a really really gorgeous colour it is called Rose Hit and I've pretty much been wearing this all through March the next pink thing is this lipstick from MAC and it's called Candy Yum Yum and it's a matte finish lipstick and it's just this bright pink I've always been a red lipstick kind of girl but bright pink never done that before but I really 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 like it but for some reason this just picks up on every little crack or bit of dry skin or any unevenness on my lips whatsoever and I could be having a really good lip day yet I could put this on and it will just make flaws on my lips and then I do find after a couple of hours you get that weird gammy line 
around your lips. So if you guys know any lipsticks that are the similar colour to this gorgeous bright pink, then uh, please let me know because I do love this and I've continued to wear this this month. The next thing is this watch by Danielle Wellington. I've never owned a watch but I have always loved little dainty watches like this one and I think this is called the Classy Sheffield one. I've been wearing this every day since I got it. It's just a nice little addition to an outfit and it's practical at the same time. It's also a nice classic watch as well. If you guys want to go get this watch I will leave a link to it in the down bar and I have a discount code for you which will also be in the down bar. Next thing is this Balance Me Extra Care Radiance Face Oil. I've used argan oils and stuff on my face before and I just love them. Before I went to bed, after I'd cleansed my face and taken my makeup off, I'd warm some of this up in my hand and I'd massage it into my face. And then the next morning I would wake up, it would be all absorbed. My skin would feel so soft and plump and amazing. And I would notice that already from just one use, any red marks that I had on my skin had gone down and any rashes that I had had also gone down. The last beauty thing that I wanted to show you and was in my last video is this Marilyn hair treatment from Lush. And whether you have bleach blonde hair or naturally blonde hair, it will keep brassy orange tones from building up in your hair. It also helps brighten and lighten your hair as well as keep it nice and soft and moisturised and... It smells pretty good. I find that it makes my hair feel so, it's so nice and silky and it doesn't leave the smell of the mask on your hair when you wash it off. And apparently it's a softer, more natural option to bleach in. So obviously, if you've got dark hair, it's not going to make your hair blonde. But if you've got hair like me, which has blonde bits through it, I mean the whole of my hair is blonde, but some bits are a lot darker than others. I just find that when I use any products that have chamomile in it, it makes my hair just feel a lot more blonde. Not very scientific of me, but that's pretty much what it does. So one of the last things I want to show you is this awesome illustration that a lovely girl called Robin drew for me. And she sent me a framed copy and I just think this is really really wicked. It's got so much detail in it, it's unreal. And Robin is so talented. I'll leave the link to her website in the down bar along with her Instagram. Definitely go check it out because she is so, so, so talented. So the last thing that I wanted to mention is something that I can physically show you. I get asked quite often to do a video on my favourite music and the sort of stuff that I'm into. I wouldn't even know where to begin and it would be such a long video. So I thought what I can do is every monthly favourites video, I'll leave a link in the down bar to a playlist and I'll probably do it on YouTube because there are quite a few songs that aren't available and things like Spotify and other playlist making sites. For example, recently I've been really loving a a live lounge cover from Radio 1 which is only available to listen to on the Radio 1 YouTube at the moment so I'll probably just make a playlist through YouTube so let me know if that's a good idea or not I will leave my first little playlist in the down bar so every month you'll be able to get a little snippet of bands that I'm either loving currently or I've loved for a very long time and then I rediscovered it will give you something to listen to when you're doing the housework or doing your homework or something. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. My next video is gonna be a homeware haul, which so many of you guys have been asking me to do since I moved into my new place. So I'm really, really excited to film that and get that all uploaded for you. But until then, I will say goodbye. Tonight.